This is iCastNews.com, live and direct from the United Nations. I'm Linda Fasulo. Joining me today is the permanent representative of Afghanistan, Ambassador Zahir Tanin. Welcome, Ambassador. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Ambassador, how would you describe the state of affairs in Afghanistan today? I mean, how strong is the Taliban? What's the role of al-Qaeda? And some, some critics say that um, conditions are as bad as 2001. Is that true? Well, uh, uh, we are still uh, going through a difficult time. Mm -hmm. uh, there has been a surge of violence, uh, an increase in the activities of the Taliban uh, and other terrorist groups. Uh, in the last two years uh, uh, and uh, recently uh, the Taliban also tried to increase attacks as uh, General Petraeus uh, uh, few days ago uh, uh, said in our interior ministry also uh, announced that uh, uh, there has been a sharp increase at, at, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the Taliban activities inside Afghanistan due to different reasons because it is uh, it's a season uh, that allow uh, that allows Biden. the Taliban to to be more active and also we are before the elections and uh, also maybe it's uh, because the sanctuaries uh, are apparently are under pressure in the region uh, so uh, uh, but uh, one should know that uh, the violence and the uh, increased activities of the Taliban and other terrorist groups, it is limited to, to a part of Afghanistan, to southern Afghanistan, to the neighboring provinces with Pakistan mm -hmm. and the tribal area in Pakistan. Uh, when uh, the life in other parts of Afghanistan and other two uh, third of Afghanistan uh, is uh, about reconstruction, development, uh, 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 at the same time with the security problems. So I think it is not fair to see Afghanistan at war, to see mm -hmm. it as a conflict we remember uh, uh, as, as such as uh, 1980s or 1990s. But uh, 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 it's also, uh, I don't think, a, a fair judgment to uh, see it as 2001 situation because mm -hmm. in 2001 was not only about war, it was about an Afghanistan that was the basis for uh, many terrorist groups uh, to be trained and to, to, to uh, uh, prepare themselves for the attacks that ha as it happened in, in September 2001 here. So you view it, Afghanistan, there's a great improvement or there's an improvement since 2001 in Afghanistan in terms of the planning of terrorist attacks from there? The, the insecurity in the South is not about improvement or lack of improvement mm -hmm. because uh, uh, the, 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 the new process of stability uh, and peace uh, that started in 2001 was about uh, uh, reestablishing Afghanistan as a viable state. Mm -hmm. uh, we came a long way. Uh, uh, and uh, 2001, there were few schools that were open. Uh, uh, now we have six Taliban. million because of the Taliban, mm -hmm. because of the uh, repressive uh, regime of the mm -hmm. Taliban, uh, because of, uh, of the, uh, the suppression of people. Right. And uh, uh, we have six million, more than six million children now go to school. Mm -hmm. We have 85% of people that have access to health care, which was not the case. Mm -hmm. We have uh, um, f more than 4,000 kilometers of, of the roads that were built in the last seven years. We have state institutions that work. We have the uh, elections. We are going to have another election. We have a parliament. We have a government that work. Uh, it's a different place. Uh, it is a different place, but at the same time, it is not secure enough mm -hmm. uh, n n that to ignore the danger of the groups that they try to disturb that. What we have now in Afghanistan is a state, uh, a country that functions, a country that has uh, legitimacy, a country that the main issue is how to change it, how to build, uh, while uh, 
the, the terrorist groups, the insurgents would like to disrupt it. Mm -hmm. We built thousands of schools, but they tried to burn uh, a dozen of these schools we built. Mm -hmm. So uh, one should see this, the, the idea or the question of progress in terms of what we have built. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we are, uh, uh, we are well aware of the dangers. And uh, we are well aware of the attempts by the Taliban and, and the groups they don't want peace and stability in Afghanistan to disrupt the process. And it is not only an issue that is uh, limited to Afghanistan or the threat is a, a threat for Afghans. We face the network of terrorists with regional and global agenda. So one of the areas that they focus today is Afghanistan and that is their main focus and also they focus now in Pakistan as they focused in Iraq. Uh, w when you look to the activities of these groups, of course, they are able to, uh, with suicide bombing, with roadside bombing, with the new tactics they use, they are able to kill people, they are able to burn a school, they are able to destroy something we built, they are able to kill people. So whether it's a war, uh, I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but it is really uh, disrupting uh, our efforts. What portion of the country is, is under Taliban control and population-wise? I mean, what percentage, for example, of young women are not permitted to go to school or to, you know, to live freely under Taliban rule? Is it, li is it like a third of the country or is it less than that? No. Uh, we have no territory uh, as a province mm -hmm. and big districts that are under that should be under control of the Taliban. Mm -hmm. uh, only five districts uh, are seen as areas where uh, the government cannot exercise full uh, control. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is about um, more than 300 districts, this country. This is about this is three, th 34 provinces. So it's not like 1980s, uh, the war between the Mujahideen and the Soviet Union. It's also not like 1990s, the war between the anti-Taliban forces and the Taliban forces. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not about protected or controlled areas. It might have been the case in tribal area of Pakistan where a uh, few months ago or a few weeks ago, the Taliban controlled SWAT or some areas. In Afghanistan, they have a presence in some areas. They have the power of disruption in some areas. They have uh, the ability to disrupt traffic, uh, uh, the movement of people, attack uh, government buildings or schools or clinics, but, uh, and also suicide bombers. They can, mm -hmm. uh, they can penetrate some areas to, to blow themselves. Uh, so, uh, uh, Afghan is in Afghanistan, uh, uh, I mean, it is, uh, uh, it's not right. Some people think that the Taliban can control some areas. Mm -hmm. And then the m most uh, movement of the Taliban and their action is also a transborder issue. As we know, the, the leadership of the Taliban are not based in Afghanistan. In they are uh, in, in uh, areas between Afghanistan and Pakistan. They are in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And most of these, the main fighters, the, the, the groups who are in link with the leadership of the Taliban, they come to Afghanistan or they lead their operations from uh, outside Afghanistan. At the same time, of course, I'm not ignorant of the fact they are ac active uh, uh, food soldiers of the Taliban, some commanders, they try to uh, to to uh, establish some kind of uh, semi-permanent uh, presence in some areas, uh, moving from one area to another inside Afghanistan. I see. How how do you think most Afghans view the presence of NATO troops and and U.S. troops? We know that there have been uh, some concerns about. So there was some recent. Uh, accidental attacks by the United States um, that resulted in some civilian deaths. So how has that colored the thinking of um, Afghans towards the U.S. forces? Uh, we know, and it's based on the fact, 